Hey, my name's Matthew Paul. I'm a composer and producer from New Zealand, and CD Baby asked me to make a video giving you five tips to improve your piano compositions. So the first tip is learn how to spread out your voicings. If you don't pay enough attention to the way you voice chords, your arrangements can start sounding a little bit muddy or a little bit basic or just a little bit disjointed between the two hands. That's why putting some time and effort into thinking about your voicings can have a huge impact on the way your compositions sound. A good example of this would be improving the way a 1-3-5 chord sounds. So a 1-3-5 chord being, of course, 1-3-5 in any key. So if you were to play a chord progression that goes a little bit like this, On its own, the chords sound a little bit uninspiring, but if you take the third and put it up one octave, essentially making it a tenth, you can make it sound a lot more palatable, which I think gives it a better chance of evoking a more emotional response from the listener. The second tip is substituting the root for another part of the chord. I find this technique can be helpful in not only giving you a sort of intriguing yet familiar sound, but can also be useful when it comes to things like voice leading or thinking about the arc of a bass line inside of your composition. These are also commonly referred to as slash chords. I'm going to play an example of this now and I'll put the chords up in the video so you can see what I'm thinking about. The next tip is don't force compositions. This might sound very obvious, but it actually took me a while to fully embrace this idea. It is absolutely okay to put compositions back on the shelf while you go off on another path with a new idea. What you put on that shelf will always be there, and perhaps a melody might come to you in an unexpected moment, and you might be in a better place to finish that composition. Or perhaps months down the line, you'll be sitting at the piano, and maybe today is not your day to come up with something completely brand new, but you might feel like you want to add a little something to an older composition. This happened to me quite recently with a song that I started writing at the beginning of 2022 and for whatever reason I couldn't finish it back then but I recorded it put it on the shelf and a few months ago I came back to it and wondered to be honest why on earth I couldn't finish it back then but the truth is I've had six months more life experience now musical experience and the melody that I came up with fit the composition so much better than what I had and so it simply needed that time to rest and to be picked up later voice memos are your friend I'm always recording everything onto voice memos the first time and coming back to them later even if they don't have names they'll just be B minor to A thing or thing that sounds like this other thing thing. Tip number four is reharmonizing melodies. I find this to be a really useful compositional technique simply because you might have a melody that's so strong or that you feel you can't add any more to it or you shouldn't add any more to it but by utilizing this idea you might have the opportunity to revisit the melody later in the song using different chords underneath which to me is like adjusting the context to which the melody is heard by the listener. Take a melody like this for instance. then it might feel like changing it so it's going a little bit to a different place while still maintaining that melodic influence. You could say it's like putting new carpet into a room where everything on top stays the same, but the change in foundation prompts you to look at that room in an entirely different way. So my fifth and final tip would be, if you're lost, simply start with trying to harmonize the major scale. If you're having trouble figuring out what chord to go to next in your piece, the starting point for most people would be simply to stay within the harmony of the major scale of the key that you're in. This might trigger your ear to hear something that leads you a little bit away from that major scale, but as a starting point, I find this really useful. So for each of the seven notes that we have inside of a major scale, in this case in the key of C, we can harmonize those notes by using all the other notes in the major scale. Sounds a little bit complicated, but actually it's not really. It basically means for each of those notes inside that major scale, there is a specific chord that works very well that encompasses notes from that major scale. Basically in C, that's very easy because we're only using white notes, but it starts off with being C major seven, D minor 7, E minor 7, F major 7, G7, A minor 7, B minor 7 flat 5, etc, etc. 
it's very good to memorize this pattern that you can use in other keys. And of course, this is a good time to say it's very good to learn major scales in every key. So when you're at a starting point for your composition and you're looking for somewhere to go, that's why it's very good to think about what key you're in and to think about what chords are available that might immediately sound quite good. So in the key of C, we could try something like this. for example. So that's it for this video. That was five tips that can help you to improve your piano compositions. Of course, I use the word tips instead of rules because there are no rules. There are only tips. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, my name is Matthew Paul. I'm a composer and producer from New Zealand. If you want to hear a little bit more from my music, I just put an album out on the 6th of January called Reminiscence. It's on all streaming platforms. Or you can check me out on Instagram at Matthew Paul Piano for my piano stuff or Matt Paul Music for my other stuff. Have a good one. Good luck.